Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is hydrophobic sand, also known as magic sand. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is hydrophobic sand, also called magic sand or mystic sand, transparent cups, and water. Fill the fish tank full of water, pulled out my magic sand, put it in a cup. You don't need to do that, but, uh, and then pour away. And what I love about the magic sand or the hydrophobic sand is when you pour it in, um, it always makes a unique design. So the faster you pour it in, it kind of goes to the bottom and it kind of just builds this tower. Um, every time you do it, it's a little bit unique. But what's great about the magic sand is it is truly magic. So when you pick it up and um, you're going to pull it out, you would assume that when you pull it out, you're going to get wet sand. But when you pull it out, that's the, when the magic happens. So you pull it up and it's dry sand again. Put it back in and you think it's wet, but you pull it back up and dry sand. It's pretty amazing stuff. And like I said, I love every time you pour it back into the water, um, it's going to uh, make a different pattern. So you can continue to pick it up and put it down. Um, it comes in multiple colors uh, when you buy it online. And if you look in the description, I have where I bought my magic sand. Uh, so you can get it from there. Um, and I said, and I've got uh, green and red. So when I show you the red, I'll tell you the science behind it. So this time I'm using the red and the science behind this is the magic sand is an amazing substance because it does not get wet. It forms a spectacular formations underwater, like I say, and every time, it's kind of like a snake right there. It's always going to have a different pattern, which is really cool. You pull it back out, dry it off, and you're ready to go. So every time you pour it in the water, it's completely dry when you pull it back out. Even one advertiser's slogan is the substance is you, you, you can bet it won't get wet. Well, that's true, but what I found out at one science night one year, when you have 300 kids put their hands on the magic sand, uh, the slogan uh, with my science kids, it doesn't work. Because what happens is the oil in your hands um, takes off all the hydrophobic uh, material on the sand, and it just becomes wet. So we found that out the hard way. We tested it through 300 kids and it doesn't always work but it, my sand in this case i've had this for years it's worked every time i've used it but i've only used it through 10 or 20 different kids uh, around the neighborhood or my nieces so it's pretty cool stuff and um it uh, works really good so magic sand is made from or ordinary sand which is colored so it's coated with a hydrophobic substance similar to wax that repels water a hydrophobic literally means fear of water. The substance uses a coat of uh, on the sand that's nonpolar, which repels water, which makes sense. That's why it becomes dry, right? So I started thinking, um, this is pretty cool stuff. Everyone I do it with, they love it. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. But I was wondering, can I make it myself? I know the ingredients. It's sand and hydrophobic, um, you know, water repelling spray. So how hard could it be? So the next step I'm going to show you is I'm going to attempt to make my own sand. And here's how I did it. So I took some regular sand. I took some rain guard or uh, shoe guard, uh, which has the hydrophobic uh, material in it. You know, keeps the shoes dry, right? Spread my sand out in a painter's dish there. And I just started spraying away. Now, this took me multiple different times. So because you're not going to get the sand in all angles. It's a little bit deep. So I sprayed it down and then I'd come back after it was dry and I'd shake it up a little bit and then I'd respray it. I continued to do this multiple times throughout the day. So um, because I really wanted to make sure I had a great coat of the nonpolar uh, on each piece of sand, which isn't like you're just doing a shoe, one time cover, maybe two in your set. So I did this multiple different times and this is the results I got. So here's truth or dare. Do I go into my own hyperophobic uh, sand business? I'm not sure, so I'll pour it in. And uh, it's getting that same look. I mean, that's pretty cool. It's not building up straight, but it does have that look of being nonpolar. So we'll take some out, we'll pull it out. And it's a little bit dry, but uh, overall, <laughs> I would say that I failed and I'm going to stick... Uh, to my day job and my side hobby of just making experiments and not inventing them. So uh, anyway, um, I made an attempt at it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up or to share if you like this. And thanks for watching.